Hi. <clears throat> now I've been looking at a lot of YouTube um, videos about drilling out um, the exhaust valve and the transfer port and the barrel. My way of thinking is that um, if you drill it out, this is 3.5 millimeters, and people are drilling it out to 3.7, 3.8, and uh, also the barrel and the transfer port. All they're doing is adding volume of air. But my way of thinking is that if that was a smaller hole, say two mil, you might not be getting the volume coming through, but you're getting the pressure, a higher pressure. And that's what you need to tune the gun. Why I say this is that you've all seen uh, this, which I've uh, made into a, a PCP and a CO2. Under CO2 form, it shoots around about 500 and something feet per second under the PCP it's almost 700 and when I took this apart the exhaust valve which is not this one but the exhaust valve in this has a far greater well, a, a far smaller hole than what this has So when this is a PCP and you pump it up to a thousand PSI, it's shooting just under 700 feet per second. And as I say, uh, the, the transfer port in this, when, when um, that fires, when that fires, oh, What's happening here? Oh yeah. When that fires, <coughs> the volume of air what's going through is far less than if that what's coming through there because of the hole size. So you've got more pressure going down the barrel than you have anything else. It's not the volume of air you want, it's the pressure behind the pellet. The volume of air makes no difference. Once you pull that trigger and a hammer hits the pin, the pellet's gone. And if you've got far more volume, all it's doing is running through the barrel and being wasted. That's the way I'm looking at it. So, what I tend to do is to somehow make that hole smaller. So I get a high pressure coming through this into the barrel. Whether it work or not, I don't know. But that's my way of thinking. I don't believe by opening that up you're creating pressure, more pressure. All you're doing is creating more volume of air. <coughs> and uh, I'll be going in a workshop maybe tomorrow and start trying to um, make a little unit up which can go into the transfer port with a smaller hole and see what happens and the only way we know if we've got um, higher pressure is by the speed of the pellet okay now I will be doing a chronograph um, test before and after and I'll be using the same pellet 
and uh, we'll see what the results are. Um, I think by creating a smaller hole, you're going to have higher pressure, so it means higher speed. But as I say, I, I don't really know, not until uh, I try it. But I will be chronographing the before uh, and the after effects on um, on the SMK Victory CP2. Well, that's today's video, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. I've still got a bit of a cold, runny nose. Sorry about that. Not very good for YouTube, but having, having waterfall coming out your nose. Right, okay. <coughs> I'll say goodbye, and um, let's hope uh, the next video will show you that I'm right or wrong. If you've got any comments, leave them be up below, whether they're good or bad. Uh, it makes no difference to me. If you want to call me a pillock, you can. But it's well worth trying um, because I've seen too many videos where people are drilling out um, the exhaust valve transfer port and a barrel. In my way of thinking, all you're doing is adding volume and not pressure. You're, in fact, you're reducing pressure, I think. That's the dog, he wants to go out, so I'll say goodbye, okay? Bye.